Hello, this is Tofman Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip for beginners. And this quick tip still goes along with what we've been doing before when it comes to camera tracking. This is just a really quick tip. Sometimes when you do camera tracking, you set up your scene. Uh, what the setup scene button does, it, it sets the scene for the cube, for placement of the elements with the cube and the plane. And the plane is supposed to be the shadow catcher. Now the shadow catcher is something new in the newer versions of Blender Light for two points, I think eight and above, 2.79, I'm not too sure. I don't think it existed back then, but in 2.8 and above, it, it still, it existed and it still does. Now sometimes for some reason, the shadow catcher doesn't seem to work. I don't know why, but that might be a bug, but for you to have a shadow catcher or to use it or to have it functioning in your scene, I'll show you how to do it. Now we're gonna leave this uh, cube here Press one on our keyboard. I'm gonna pull this up, left click and drag on the Z axis, and press Shift A on your keyboard, mesh, plane, S to scale it up. And this is supposed to be uh, our shadow catcher, which is our plane, for it to catch shadows in our scene. If for some reason it doesn't work when you set it up after you've done your uh, solving for the camera tracker, You've clicked on setup uh, background to set up scene, and this doesn't work. This is what you need to do. First thing is change it from EV to cycles because for some reason in, in uh, EV doesn't work. And leave it on CPU. Uh, it's supposed to work in GPU, which is using your graphics card, but sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. So if it doesn't work in GPU, uh, turn it back to CPU. Then click on your plane. Next thing to do is go to the object properties, left click on that, go down to visibility. And we're going to actually change our viewport to cycle so we can see what's going on. You can see the planes right there. And we're going to click on shadow catcher and boom, there you go. And in order for uh, the glossy and the fuse elements to, not to affect your cube, for example, if your cube was a lot of different color, for example, like for some weird example, uh, let's give it a color here. Let's put, click on new and turn this to the red. You can see it, it's showing up. Even though our plane is uh, invisible to the render, it's still affecting the color, still affecting the object sitting on top of our cube. We don't want that. Or sit on top of our, our the cube sitting on top of the plane. We don't want that to affect the, uh, the cube. In order to fix that part of it, still go to visibility in your object panel and then turn off diffuse and glossy and that fixes that. And that's how I can use uh, activate shadow catcher and a plane and blender if in camera tracking doesn't work, even if you just want to have a shadow catcher in general in your scene without tracking anything. So that's how you can do it in blender. And that's today's Blender quick tip. Hope it was pretty much direct and to the point as possible. I know I kind of talk a lot, but that's just how I am. Uh, but thank you guys. And hopefully, hopefully this will be something that was helpful for those of you who are watching. Uh, you guys who have subscribed in the past, those of you who are subscribing now, and those of you who will subscribe in the future. And I'll see you guys on the next one. All right, adios.